and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Miracle Cream Cleaning Paste by The Pink Stuff. I picked this up in Pineland. It was only a pound. You can get it in a few different places like B&M as well. I also have a video on my channel reviewing this. If you'd like to see that, I will link it down below. I said this in my last one, but with this, this is a 100% fully recyclable tub. But unfortunately with these ones, they have the film on them which is not recyclable. So for me that feels like a little bit uh, because I really wanted to be able to recycle everything that's with them. And the fact that I have to put some plastic in the bin and not get it recycled really quite upsets me. So I think they need to work on making the bottle that colour rather than having a film on it. So I will be testing the Miracle Cream Cleaner on this extremely greasy tray. So this is a big test, you know, will it cut through it? Will it work? I'm excited to see. And I'll also be testing it on this big thick bit of grease here because I didn't realize that it was gonna dribble off when I stood the tray up on there. And as an extra at the very end, I will be testing it on these really hard to get off marks. So every time I use my hobs, these marks appear. I don't know if it's little bits of food spitting out or what, but they're a nightmare to get off. I normally have to scrub them really, really hard. So I'm gonna smear this in all over and then I'm gonna leave it for five minutes and then I'm gonna wipe it off. But I'll be taking you with me the whole way so you will see exactly how well this cream cleaner worked. So this has been sitting for about half an hour now by accident. So I'm just gonna wipe and see how much of the grease it has removed. That's not bad actually, that's quite good. Okay, that was interesting. I want to move on to the grease up the back here. I got my gloves on guys, taking care of my hands. So that's just come right off. Nice and easy, there's no residue left, so I am actually liking this one. These marks here. I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to go over this one again. on the really burnt on areas but it's really done its job with the grease I must say. One thing I've noticed <clears throat> is it hasn't managed to get these off. Like I said these are really burnt on and they are hard to get off. So I'm gonna try with the scrub mummy again and just see. I'm pushing really, really hard. I'm putting most of my weight into my arm to clean this. They are really, really burnt on. Normally the pink stuff paste gets these off a lot easier. Quite well. 
it definitely smells nice um, it's nice to use the only things I want to say is that you really have to rinse it off very very well it leaves streak marks on shiny surfaces like stainless steel so that's one thing you want to rinse it a lot it really kind of seems to stick to the cloth like I was running it under the water for a while and the water wasn't running clear for quite some time so it really does quite get quite in there but it definitely does work when it comes to grease. I tested it on a massive clump of grease and it literally just wiped off very, very easily, leaving no greasy residue behind, which I was like, wow, that's pretty good. As for tougher burnt on stains, I'd still stick to the paste as the paste seems to really get in there, whereas the cream or the spray don't quite do what that paste does. So that's one thing I wanted to, to run over is that the really, really burnt on stains, I had to scrub extremely hard to get off. Whereas with the paste, it's a little bit easier. Some of the things I like about this is it's natural. It's at least 99.9% .9 natural ingredients. It's not tested. I think my advice to you would be to stick with the little tub. I feel that once you make something amazing, it's like when you make a movie, when the second one comes out, the second movie is never as good as the first. So I feel this is the same when it comes to this cleaning product. I'd say stick with the number one. <laughs> Don't worry too much about the other ones. That's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoy watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below. I will take my time to answer every single comment that I get. And also, I'd love if you consider subscribing to stick around for more. It's free. It means you'll, you'll see when I upload new videos and every subscriber honestly means so much to me so have a little think about that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one goodbye